Welcome back to The Roundtable. I'm Ostrich Vox, and let's talk about Tiggle Wings. Now, throughout the last few years, Cartoon Network has released these things called Minisodes, which are essentially pilots distributed onto YouTube. Now, there are some legitimate short films and one-offs in here, but let's not lie to ourselves, they're mostly pilots. Now, some amazing series have come out of these Minisode pilots, such as OKKO Let's Be Heroes, which was formerly titled Lego Plaza Turbo, and Apple and Onion. It's also looking like some of these pilots may become actual shows, like Vincent Valentino, which is basically confirmed and Infinity Train, which has a lot of hints, but there hasn't been an official announcement yet. Unfortunately, not every pilot has been lucky. There's pilots like AJ's Infinite Summer, Back to Backspace, and 12 Forever, which all had a following. They've all had a small following arise from these shorts, yet nothing has come from it. And while I'm a believer in Never Seen Never, I feel like there's a window of opportunity that can close within a few years if a show doesn't get picked up by then. But all that said, there are some minisodes that are already picked up for a full series by the time we see them on YouTube. That's where Twiggle Winks comes in. The new Cartoon Network minisode that follows the adventures of Twiggle Winks and his purple cat partner, Gwee Seeks. So what is Twiggle Winks about? Well, you know how you probably lose a remote control or batteries or just something around your house. Something that you lose often that you need or something that holds value to you that you can't find. You know that one item always goes missing. You're like, ah, it was just here in my room. Where could it have gone? I checked everywhere. That's where Twiggle and Gwee Seeks comes in. Think of that lost and found bid you had in school. Imagine if that was a business where your employees come to your house, you show them a photo of what's lost and they find it. Twiggy and Gwee Seeks are the lost and found. Now, I don't remember the business had an actual name of the pilot. I, I think I, I would have remembered that. Twiggy and Gwee Seeks are the lost and found's best employee. You bet your ass if you lost something, they will find it. They will find you. However, they get a special kind of case in this pilot. Their boss, who's a dog, wants them to find a missing item from their past. What they assume is the Abby Cadabby. So they go to the Abby Cadabby factory and they spot the female from the commercial of the item. She's like a giant monster lady now, kinda. I mean, she looks normal, but she has like Abby Cadabby limbs. I don't know, it's very trippy. But the plot twist is, Tiggy wasn't looking for the Abby Cadabby, he was looking for his owner, who was the woman in this commercial, who was looking for a dog. They're reunited. It's a really heartfelt pilot. Now, as for the actual humor and dynamics, it is kind of a little random humor, but I enjoyed it. I like the character interactions between Tiggy and Gweezy. And for some reason, Tiggy's saying, what do we got here? What do we got here? What do we got here? And that really got me like the first <laughs> three times I watched this. Also, Gweezy's is just adorable. I already can picture the, the hundreds of t-shirts and plushies and Funko Pops of her. And you know what? Bring it on. Bring me the Gwee Seeks merch. I also really dig how buff this dog is. But before I get too ahead of myself, why do I think we're gonna see more of this show, more of these characters? Well, if you remember last week when we talked about Teen Titans Go possibly ending, The Source was an article by Steve Poulet, the former leader of the Animation Guild. Now keep in mind, this article was from September. And people are like, uh, I'm not sure this is legit. Magic Swords is spelled wrong. It says Infinity Train and Victor and Valentino and Tiggle Wings are all going to be on Adult Swim. That doesn't make any sense. And I said, yeah, I feel like he may have gotten some things mixed up, but I still think it's a legitimate source. And Tiggle Wings was on that list. Again, this was back in September before anyone in the public knew of Tiggle Wings. How would he know about that months in advance unless he, you know, had inside information, legit inside information? I do believe the Adult Swim part is wrong for all those shows, they're definitely going to be in Cartoon Network, but that's just miscommunication between where we got the sources from. In my opinion, it doesn't make the information any less legitimate. Now again, I would take it with a little grain of salt as it doesn't say when this is coming out and it's not going to end up on Adult Swim, but it's very curious that Tiggle Winks would be on there and Fady Chan would be on there, Victor and Valentino would be on there, but not any other pilots? Uh, that smells fishy to me. And that's why I do believe, yes, this is a full series. This is 100% correct. 110%. Now, why is it becoming a full series? Glad you asked. Do we really need an LOL or random show on Cartoon Network again? Well, I think this is trying to fill in the niche, the audience demographic for Uncle Grandpa. You know, Tiggy himself looks more, I guess, kiddish than Uncle Grandpa, even though he might be a full-blown adult. I don't know. He looks like he could be at his 20s at the most. That and a cute animal sidekick is definitely a lot more remarkable Cartoon Network, but you know that's not confirmed that's the actual reason. And the art style does remind me a lot more of Uncle Grandpa. And with a concept that's as fun yet simple as a lost and found business, 
You can go so many angles and avenues with this. Needless to say, I'm pumped. But as always, these are just my thoughts and I want to hear yours. Are you excited for Tickle Winks? I'll link the pie down below. Let me know who your favorite character is. I don't know, man. The dog boss might take the cake. He's just so buff. Comment your thoughts down below or tune directly to me at Ostrich Vods. You can also follow the Roundtable on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all at Roundtable Vids, and ask on Snapchat at Roundtable YT to catch some shenanigans throughout the day. We also have a Discord, official Amino app, Patreon, and merch. Links to everything in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please throw it a like, share it with your friends, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, it really helps us out. Hit that bell for notifications so you never miss a video from the Roundtable. What other Cartoon Network pilots do you want to see? I'm really excited to hear what you guys all think. I hope you have a beautiful day. And Ostrich Fox, signing out. Bye, everyone.